What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Character Profiles. This week we're doing number 96. So his name is number 96 or number 96 Dark Mist or his upgraded form I guess it could be called number C96 Dark Storm. His Japanese name is of course number 96 and his age, I don't know, your guess is as good as mine. His anime debut was in Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel episode 20, Roots of the Problem. Here are his wins and here are his losses and here's his dual score. So, number 96 is the character version of the card, number 96, Dark Mist. He's a recurring antagonist in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal anime. Number 96, when not in card form, appears similar to Astral, but with a jet black body instead of a light blue one. Unlike Astral, whose right eye has a white sclera, number 96 has a black one. However, he does have a gold iris on his left eye, much like Astral. However, the markings where number 96's eyebrows would be are longer. The top ends also stretch into his forehead and become kind of crooked, which sort of resembles horns. As well, these marks are red instead of Astral's green. And as well, number 96 is capable of forming a ghostly tail and having tentacles that stretch out from his body. As with Astral, the dub version has number 96's lower body, sometimes blurred off to remove any nudity implications. As well, number 96's D-pad is the same one Astral used, except it is purple instead of blue. When number 96 used Rank Up Magic Baryon's Force on his card form, his own physical appearance significantly changed. He gained a Baryon emblem on his forehead, an eye on his abdomen, much like Don Thousand, as well as a pair of wings with red jewels. Like its other counterparts, number 96 is a malicious entity who desires the power of the other numbers, so that he may become the most powerful one of them all. Number 96 considers his card form to be his other self. He also considers himself to be the darkness to Astral's light. To that end, he also constantly tells Astral that he needs his power to win and will someday become evil. After having obtained the power of chaos, he develops a god complex and sets his sights on destroying all three parallel worlds as a way to test his newfound power and to achieve his goal of crushing Astral and Yuma together. According to Don Thousand, number 96 was actually a fragment of his own power that was embedded in Astral's body when he fought against him eons ago. So, a bit of backstory on the character. During the battle between Astral and Don Thousand, a fragment of Thousand's soul was trapped inside Astral. It eventually developed into the form of number 96. After the numbers were released, number 96 came into the possession of a man. After that man was defeated by Yuma, Astral absorbed the number. However, the number purposefully lost as he wished to be passed on to Yuma. Later, when Bronk knocked the Emperor's key from Yuma's neck, the number's power was released. He appeared as a blackened version of Astral. Number 96 manipulated Yuma as a puppet, using Yuma's cars to summon his own. He was capable of manipulating Yuma's actions, but not his words. In this way, Yuma tricked Number 96, allowing Bronk to use Utopia and defeat Dark Mist. Bronk then threw the Emperor's key back to Yuma, freeing Astral and then Astral just absorbed the number 96 again. However, number 96 appeared again when Astral was recovering inside the Emperor Key. Number 96 told him that he could not win against the Baryons without accepting his evil side. Later, he appeared before Yuma and Astral, insisting that they cannot win against the Shadow Giant without his power. When the two were about to lose, he convinced Astral to unseal him, as Yuma could be hurt if they lost. Number 96 assisted them as Yuma summoned Number 96 Dark Mist to win the duel. After this, Number 96, having tamed the power of chaos, decided to try and defeat Yuma and Astral with it, since he now believed he had surpassed Astral and determined that he was a god now. He launched an assault which affected Earth and both the Baryon and Astral world as he wished to destroy everything. He pulled Yuma, Astral Shark, Kite and Tori to his location and began a duel with Yuma and Astral. Despite the advantage of his field spell card, number 96 was eventually defeated by the duo through the power of Zexal 2. After the duel, he attempted to take Astral's body for his own anyway. However, Astral sacrificed his energy to seal number 96 with an explosion, draining him enough that he was forced to return to the Astral world. With his defeat, he was sealed in a ball of light, his power returning to its origin, Don Thousand. 
So, number 96 initially plays Yuma's syllable deck while manipulating him. However, he uses it differently, as he puts more effort into summoning and the use of his own cards. After his re-emergence, number 96 uses Malisavorus Chaos deck, featuring dark monsters based on dining implements. It is again centered on summoning his own card, augmented with the Mithrian number, and the inclusion of Rank Up Magic, Baryon's Force, Chaos Field, and number C monsters. Some of the cards included in his deck were Malice vs. Fork, Knife, Spoon, number 65 the Jin Buster, number 96 Dark Mist, number C65 King Over Fiend, number C69 Heraldry Crest of Honor, number C92 Heart Earth Chaos Dragon, and number C96, Dark Storm. And with that, guys, that's another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Character Profiles done. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Don't forget to head to the link in the comment section below to Twitter to vote for who you would like to see next for 